Hello and welcome back to the Bjoglington Review. Now, it's getting a bit colder, it's getting a bit darker in the evenings and the mornings too. It's November, we're in the, the run-in now to Christmas and so I thought I'd go with uh, something perhaps a little bit early but uh, still hopefully welcome. It's the Hornby Santa's Present Wagon. Uh, it's the van edition that they brought out this year. It's R60140. So I'm going to take it over to the desk and open it up and See what it's like. So here we are at the desk, and here is the Santa's present wagon. So if I just turn it around, you can see that it's the R60140 Santa's present wagon. And this is the repeated long wheelbase van from Hornby. Now, this has been in the range since, I think, 1974. And I have an example here from a bit later in the 70s. This is the McVitie's version. And so on this one, it's got uh, couplings held on with these sort of, I suppose they're like rivets or something. And then uh, sort of silver plastic wheels with square axles. And uh, yeah, it's hollow, but it has a weight on the chassis. So and I do have a Sergeant Pepper's wagon, the same style, and a Hornby Centenary Year Anniversary wagon. So I'm going to open this up now, and uh, I'll just point out the price. $21.99 for Mark's models. That's about £19.25 at the current rate. I don't know what the rate was when I bought it about a week ago. It could have been something different. The RRP is $18.49 on Hornby's website, but you can probably get it cheaper elsewhere. Um, this is actually more expensive than RRP, but I didn't have to uh, worry about postage because I went to Cork and I went to Mark's Model specifically to buy this wagon. So, here we have the Merry Christmas from Santa labelled Santa's Present Wagon. Now, the first thing you can tell is that not a lot has changed with the design of this wagon over the years. But it does have metal axles, so that's instantly a plus. And, you know, it's a lovely Christmas livery. And it's very well printed on either side, over the uh, the detail, if you can call it that. Um, if I look closely, I mean, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's really not, you know, the most detailed thing in the world. But, you know, it still kind of holds up and, you know, it's it's still, uh, still looking pretty good. I've just coupled those the wrong way. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So I know it's a bit early for Christmas, but I just wanted to make sure I had the wagon and to show you what you could buy for Christmas time on your railway. So the description from the Hornby website says that this present carrying wagon allows Santa to transport his gifts while keeping them protected from the bitter Arctic snow. So I suppose maybe this is meant to be a, a snowy colour for the top. Maybe it's covered in snow. Uh, the logistical challenges involved in loading the sleigh and delivering any presents that don't fit in is daunting. But this wagon always meets the challenge. So, you know, it's it's a lovely little novelty for Christmas and uh, for your kids to see on the railway. My kids are going to love it, I'd say. And I'll run it with my Hornby Presents wagon. I uh, haven't got the 2022 Christmas wagon, uh, but I've got this. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm going to go put it on the railway and uh, get it running and see how it does. Right, so here we are to do the free rolling test, but first I'm going to show you how well this old one rolls because it's on uh, the rubbish axles and uh, obviously they have a low center of gravity because the weight's at the bottom, which means if I give them a good push, they might topple over. But... So that's how far that one can get. I'll just leave that beside the track there as a show of how far it went. Now. Oh yeah, those metal axles just allow it to sail straight past. So I'll just uh, check it on the other two lines. Now, I had a bit of a complaint on my Hatton's video. Someone saying I was throwing the coach around. Maybe I was, but the Hatton's coach was durable enough that it didn't affect it, so. Yep, straight through the station. And I'll do it on the, uh, the first radius now. 
And this is just me being being a bit gentle with it because I don't want to topple over because, like I said, it, it will, and I will demonstrate that now, I suppose, by, uh, yeah, see? Oh no, I'm throwing it around. Anyways, no harm done. These are pretty uh, resilient uh, wagons. So now we'll go and run it through the points test. Okay, so it's time to do the points test, and who better to uh, be in charge but the new packet? So, they're coupled up very easily. And we'll just put it through. I should think this would be perfectly fine. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. This is fast enough to go through there, and no problem at all. Now we here and we'll uncouple that a moment and we'll pop a few more onto the track and we'll see now if it couples up by the shunts by in a train of the same star wagon. Yep. Easy peasy. So I suppose yes. It's probably, you know, always going to have managed that test because they've been around since, you know, the early 70s or whatever. So, yeah, I suppose I'll just get a, a little bit of footage of it running around now with, uh, we'll add this in as well. This is my centenary wagon. Pop that on the end there. And I'll just get a brake man. Right, take it away, Peggot. Yes, that's the Hornby R60140 Santa's present van. Uh, would I buy one again? I don't need to, I've already got one. But uh, yeah, would I recommend it? Of course, it's a nice bit of Christmas cheer for your railway. It's uh, on a very overused wagon, perhaps, and uh, maybe some might consider it a little expensive considering the tooling has been around for nearly 50 years. But, you know, it still holds up in a Christmas train, I expect. And uh, I'm looking forward to running it with my other Christmas wagons. I have a couple of the Hornby Year wagons, and I have my Sam Strain's Christmas wagon as well. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget you can like, share, subscribe. There's the subscribe bubble and the playlist thing. And I'll see you next time for another Bjoglington review. So till then, here's looking forward to the festive season. Goodbye.